Hi there, it's Dr. Richard McLean, and I'm an infamous vagrant that can't go to police, can't be a whistleblower. The systemic oppression has lasted so long that I suicided. It's involved everyone in my family, my friends, society, all systemic government institutions, and framed by um, some litigation and laws, um, such as um, the things that the government signed up to, a lot of people have broken the law and that's why there's a standoff. That's why it's easier to kill me and um, and oppress me and um, character assassinate me in the hope that I'll kill myself and attack me via the hip pocket um, than it is for um, me to hold all those people to account for um, this very unfortunate situation that I find myself in. And this is a little bit of my story and um, um, I'm going to put this out there before I'm literally killed with neglect or set up and framed to be imprisoned or incarcerated for life. That's what will happen. I identified or did identify with someone who has a disability, but I actually do now because I suicided in a public hospital, which was then covered up by the government in March 2021, and I've lived in abject poverty since then, not been given the decency of healthcare or um, any financial bursary or compensation. And um, uh, I have a um, memory problem at the moment. Well, not at the moment, it's here to stay, I think. I lost the entirety of my blood and was found unresponsive with no pulse. That's a government cover up by Ben Calder, the Ombudsman. What are you waiting for? Does everyone else know something I don't? I'm utterly isolated, I have no money, and for the past 11 months I've lived just on a, um, first the dole, after I was already on uh, sick leave from the oppression that rendered my work illegitimate, and um, and then the DSP, I've made, or made, not made, I've been grateful to receive $22,000 in a year, 18500 of which went on rent. Um, is anyone going to help me? I've been framed as an extortionist, a um, rapist, a pedophile, a dog fucker, um, that, that I am an attention seeker, labelled with things that I've got a PhD in disagreeing with, and um, uh, I've been character assassinated so um, efficiently and by intelligent design that I'm left with nothing, no one, and, um, you know, it's like a, 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 a an antelope, a weak antelope from the pack. They're easier to kill. And I know the government's trying to kill me because they already did. The hospital results say it was fatal. And then they covered up. And um, I've been banned from every complaint agency and um, ombudsman, police, federal police, um, everyone. I have no voice. I have no rights. My human rights are trampled, my dignity has been, um, well my dignity is still here, but um, um, my very worth by the system has been desecrated and destroyed. I can't go to police, I can't make a complaint, my voice is silenced, my character has been assassinated, and I'm a failed whistleblower at IBAC, at AFCA, at APRA at um, ASIC and um, the Commonwealth Ombudsman. Um, I've been denied millions of dollars. I last lost half a, a couple of million just last week and my AAT case for the um, work cover that was valid um, is going ahead um, against the law uh, of, of disability rights. We must be equal for the law because the government's already got a 20 year long lawyer to um, kick the boot in when I'm down and vulnerable and they utilize the method of delay, defer, deny until such time as I kill myself. Um, that is what I think. I can't see it any other way. All the evidence is on the website, killing.info. How does one be character assassinated? Um, you do that by making complaint. If you make a complaint and suffer detriment from it, that's victimization and against human rights. 
It also doesn't help that your former partner you're engaged to for over five years um, exploited you, used you as a sexual and financial slave and took off leaving you homeless with um, his dying dog and um, owes you probably half a million dollars. Oh, and um, I was framed by doctors uh, for the complaint, uh, um, his lawyer, as a criminal extortionist. Well, that's interesting. I gave away, I gave back a hundred grand at the time. Um, money's not my currency, it's justice, and I want freedom from oppression. I've been set up to fail again and again for years, as long as I didn't put my nose out of place or stick up for myself. And one day I decided to, and um, I've been absolutely um, character assassinated and scapegoated for it. It's systemic, it's local, it's state, it's government, it's right across the board, it's infiltrated by exploiting all of my vulnerabilities, every single person in my life, and um, from the coffee guy to the Prime Minister. Now, I'm just about to email the Prime Minister and the Finance Minister and the, um, uh, someone else, oh, the Gov Office of Prime Minister and Cabinet for the CDD scheme. But as it stands, I have no money, no food, not enough medication, and this is in abuse of the Charter of Human Rights of People with a Disability, which the government is signatory to. It also goes against human rights law. Yeah leave from work because um, I didn't know it yet, but I was framed. Um, this is um, because I failed two vocate cases, one of Ireland Afray, one of my own sexual abuse case, and I was working with a client who had sexual abuse cases as an allied therapist and um, um, therapeutic support for my role with the NDIS. Now, when the magistrate kicked out my case and she was corrupt, I realised I'd been framed and my work was not legitimate. I left um, under stress, my HDF insurance don't pay me. Um, it's been a year now, they've banned me from calling, even though I caught Sheena Jack um, and I've emailed her, many people actually, um, by doctoring evidence. Um, I've been banned from every single lawyer, I've been banned from going to the police, I've been banned from um, uh, complaining to anybody or ombudsman or statutory authority or indeed government agency. I am waiting, I don't, I, I'm, it's a mystery to me. I, I've been set up to fail for years and that's literally led to such oppression that I wanted to die because I'd proven beyond reasonable doubt that every person was against me. When I survived that suicide, having been found accidentally with no pulse, my parents came to visit me. I have love for my family, but we don't see the same way. And my mum said, but you recorded that doctor. Now, this is a vexed issue. It was an innocuous thing. And it was actually legal from the point of view of the Victorian Surveillance Act 1999, which I didn't know because I protected the doctor. Actually, I've protected all my oppressors. I'm not protecting them anymore. I've been left with nothing. I've got barely any food. No, um, not enough medication. After that um, fatality, I was released illegally from the hospital against um, um, principles of suicide survivors. And I've been framed by even the chief psychiatrist as, um, I can't kill myself every time I don't get what I want. Now, that's an abhorrent way to treat systemic, systemic prolonged government oppression that leads to character assassination and further prejudice and stigma against a person who's argued successfully against um, the labels that he identified with 20 years earlier. There is clear evidence here of a systemic conspiracy to pervert the course of justice. It's contained in section 318 of the Crimes Act, which states that a person who does act or makes any omission intending in any way to pervert the course of justice is liable to imprisonment for 14 years. To find a person guilty of this, all I must prove is the following matters, beyond a reasonable doubt. That the accused did act or made an omission, name every statutory in the country, um, that they did so to pervert the course of justice. I could turn this whole country on its head, single-handedly. My situation at the moment is dire. I'm squatting and um, I haven't got enough to eat. 
um, I live in deficit and authorised in the legislation is the Charter of the Human Rights and Responsibilities Act, um, acknowledged 6th of April 2020, and a public authority under the Public Administration Act includes employees of the public service. Now this includes all the people I've complied to who are part of a statutory organisation. So there must be some kind of whistleblower statement on the other side of the thing, because I'm a banned whistleblower or failed, um, that is protecting um, everyone else as opposed to me. It's an unholy and ungodly oppression that's led to my death and post my death, they have aided and abetted my death by kicking the can down the road, elongating the space I may kill myself in as a twice suicide survivor and you know, I got locked up again by a prejudiced um, family and um, uh, this public authority includes the heads of government, um, administrative office, um, parliamentary officers and holders of statutory figures. I have to have recognition and equality before the law. Um, I have the right to enjoy my human rights without discrimination, which is clearly not the case. And every person is equal before the law and entitled to the equal protection without discrimination. That's clearly not happened, especially as a person with a disability. I have equal rights to litigation and I've never had a lawyer in all of this time. I have the right to life, not to be arbitrary deprived of life, which I was. I have protection number 10 says, I have protection from torture and cruel, inhuman or degrading treatment. This systemic injustice has happened across the board and um, I've been subject to torture over years um, for the purposes I've outlined already. I'm not sure what the other ones are. I must not be subjected to torture or treated or punished in a cruel, inhuman or degrading way. My rights have been denied. I haven't got a lawyer. I'm a person with an illness um, and um, a brain disorder, but I've acquired brain injury. I've been scapegoated. I've been character assassinated and killing.info details all the information, which I've had to do out of um, pure nothing to lose, desperation without wanting to break the law, but I had to blow the whistle. Furthermore, privacy and reg reputation. A person has the right not to have his or her privacy, family, home or correspondence unlawfully interfered with. My email's hacked, my computer's hacked. I get death threat to the door. I can't contact police. I am a famous, infamous vagrant. I used to be kind of famous for the work I did in my 25 plus year advocacy career. Um, um, but now in terms of government agencies, I'm absolutely infamous. I have the right to freedom of expression in any other medium chosen by me. I have property rights. A person must be deprived of his or her property. I have the right to liberty and security. That's been taken from me and the right um, um, not be subjected to arbitrary arrest or detention, which has also happened because they said I had delusions of grandeur which um, absolutely wasn't the case. Um, the psychiatrist had to admit after my suicide attempt when they kicked me out, and then I haven't seen one psychologist in 11 months, um, that um, I wasn't delusional or psychotic, and that um, um, it was actually all true. There you go. The method utilised by this desecration of me and the utter, utter destruction of me, my personality, my money, my prosperity, my worth, my human value, has um, been elongated and over time and uses a methodology of deny, delay, defer. I've deferred enough, I'm blowing the whistle. This is my statement and I choose to make it in any way I want, thank you. The movement attacks me in the hip pocket and denies my agency of voice and my rights and freedoms and desecrates my human value. I've been denied at the police, the federal police, blocked from the servers, blocked from the family circuit court. I've been denied as a whistleblower from APRA, APRA, um, uh, the Commonwealth Ombudsman. And additionally, I spoke to Michaelia Cash about this and she condones my vagrancy because she runs 
the Attorney General's portfolio that oversees AAT, Comcare, um, AFCA, who I lost $2 million to last week, and APRA and ASIC, one of which, I can't remember which, um, accepted my bankruptcy, even though I was owed $500,000 from my former partner and all this other money, and um, she wouldn't intervene. She condones my vagancy, so does Minister Hunt, so does Minister Reynolds, and many other ministers, um, including the good old Dan Andrews, who saw my injustice, hands were tied, couldn't act, sent me to the mental health team, the very hospital where I died and was oppressed, mal uh, treated with malpractice and neglect, and literally died, then rejected from the service, and it covered up. It's nearly been a year, and I'm still fighting. I made killing.info to oppose and object to this heinous treatment. A lot of people say to me, move on, move on. But I can't move on because um, I'm framed, I'm disabled, I'm distressed, and um, it, it's a terrible, um, bloody situation. Um, I'm actually a political prisoner. I have no option but to publish Killing.info. I demand the Charter of Human Rights be adhered to as legislated by the government. Um, it's not about money. It's about freedom from oppression and having a bit of my dignity and value back. Money will be a little part of it, or not a part that I'm particularly interested in, but I would like to live a life free from oppression simply with my dog and enough prosperity in order to have a basic life. If you do the sums, this is what I've been robbed of. Rob, robbed, robbed off or, or conspired as a conspiracy to pervert the course of justice um, to, um, uh, to reject me. Um, I'll just find it, wait on, oh sorry, I'm on the wrong page, wait, I'm just trying to find it. Um, um, if I just go, oh, like I've been rejected as a whistleblower from IBRAC, AFSA, I even spoke to AGIS, they rejected me, Ombudsman's many of spoken to. I've had to publish out of necessity that this movement exists and um, I've offered a truce to the government many times but they've rejected it. I said we can still work it out. Um, they haven't come to the party. Um, it's been a, a heinous troubling time for me obviously um, and I just don't know what to do. Um, uh, yeah, I'll just say quickly, um, my business richmclean.com.au, which was almost my AB, also my ABN, was intentionally and maliciously destroyed by Micron 21, who had links to government, and in, with impunity destroyed my digital identity, the emails, the, um, the websites. I worked 20 years on that, and I was never given a chance to recoup the data. Can't do my NDI audit because my client records are ruined. It desecrated my income and my business and extra income. It's been covered up by business.gov.au, covered up by business.vic.gov.au, covered up by other senators and people. We all know about it. Everyone knows about it. Covered up by small business and family ombudsmen, covered up by telecommunications ombudsman, covered up by federal police and sidewatch.gov.au, covered up by state and federal police, and covered up by the ombudsman. There was a malpractice case which with a doctor, which I made a valid complaint about. Unfortunately, it, it rendered this maybe whole thing coming to um, into light, but um, I, I tried to defend that doctor and um, the people that conspired were IPC Health, HCC, APRA, NHPA, IPC, Police, State and Federal, IBAC, Victorian Inspectorate, State and National Ombudsman. And that oppression um, led to, at the same time, um, fighting for my sexual abuse justice to be acknowledged by someone when it didn't get acknowledged. I didn't know, but I was framed as an extortionist by that doctor's lawyer. The, um, the magistrate told me I was doomed to fail and all this stuff happened and my work was made illegitimate by two failed VOCAT cases, which was all systemically cooked from the top. And that systemic government oppression led to my illegal incarceration in which I wasn't unwell. I was stressed because of the oppression 
which was proven to be fact, and then the death, which was um, forced upon me by that systemic oppression, it was designed to aid and abet my death anyway. Um, it just happened to happen in a hospital, and then it was covered up by the government. It was covered up by Werribee Mercy, Dr Kumar, Saltwater Clinic, Health Complaints Commissioner, Mental Health Complaints Commissioner, especially Alex Tinter and Commissioner Jennings, Ben Connell, the Ombudsman, the government condoned it as nothing wrong, the police, the federal police, many other doctors, the crisis assessment team. I can't go on. I've been banned from agencies, the AAT. Next week, I get my work cover case heard. As a person with a disability, I am deserving of litigation and equal rights before the law. I haven't got a lawyer. The government's already killed me and they've got a 20 year experience lawyer to kick me in the head while I'm down. Victorian Human Rights and Legal Opportunity Commission. They rejected every one of my complaints and the Ombudsman backed it up. The Australian Human Rights Centre rejected a $1.3 million deal to the opposition when it was at conciliation. Mental Health Complaints Commissioner were corrupt and biased towards Werribee Mercy Hospital, towards me, in favour of Werribee Mercy Hospital. Centrelink have put me on the dole after I killed myself. Office of Public Prosecution ripped me, finance.gov.au, NDIS, NDIA. The AAT is taking advantage of a disabled man, as has um, um, AFCA and, and um, Australian Human Rights Centre rejected that deal. Oh, that's right. Um, APRA, AFCA, um, tax department wouldn't even give me $1,000 out of my um, super. Um, WorkSafe haven't helped me. Um, oddly enough, Paul Fowler is the guy that rejected me from Comcare. He was the old head at WorkSafe and WorkSafe wouldn't help me. Comcare's against me, the AAT, VOCAT. Um, there was two things there. Um, Office of the Australian Information Commissioner doesn't give me any help. I'm banned from healthcare, barely have healthcare or medication. I've had no psychologist or psychiatrist in nearly a year. I don't have my medication. I'm banned from a lawyer and blacklisted from litigation. I'm banned from reporting crime to police and the Independent Broad-Based Anti-Corruption Commission and further the Victorian Inspectorate and Ombudsman and I've emailed the Attorney General who condones my vagrancy as well as other ministers such as um, Minister um, Reynolds and Greg Hunt and a few others. Um, uh, yeah, I'm owed income assessed still. Um, I wasn't a prior existing illness. Um, that's 75 grand. The Geelong, Geelong Magistrates Court threw out my vocat child sexual abuse case. That's corruption. The Herald Sun vilified me. That's heinous. Um, I was treated with more malpractice many times. The systemic government oppression related to my GP complaint and my former partner who was an ASIO employee and banded a whistleblower from IBAC, ASIC, AFCA and the Ombudsman. If I want to complain to anyone, I go to the Ombudsman, but they've already rejected me in every single way. I'm an infamous vagrant. I have evidence to support everything I say and I'll utilise it. Um, I remind you that the areas of responsibility for the Attorney General are law and justice, including in Ministry of Law, Alternative to Dispute Resolution, Bankruptcy, Constitutional Law, Courts and Tribunals, Human Rights, International Law, Law Reform, Legal Assistance, Legislative Drafting, Marriage and Family Law, Personal Property Securities. Well, you'd think you should be interested. And also responsible for administration of criminal justice, including criminal law policy, and principles of criminal responsibility, matters relating to prosecution, sentencing and managing of federal offenders, inter international crime cooperation, or uh, she, she does administrative support for royal commissions and other inquiries. She does fraud and anti-corruption. Well, she's corrupt by not acknowledging and aid and abetting my death. Freedom of information. I've been rejected from Office of Information Australian Commissioner, whatever legal services to the Commonwealth, management of government records, native title privacy, well, my privacy is hacked, um, and protective security policy. Um, the Minister of Industrial Relations, Michaelia Cash, is responsible for work health and safety, rehabilitation and compensation. You'd think she'd be interested in my case of the AAT, but she's condoning my death and going against government legislation that says I must be equally represented as a person with a disability and against my human rights. Workplace relations, policy development, advocacy and implementation. Um, um, 
and she's uh, and a scheme for compensation for detriment caused by diminutive administration, the CDDA scheme, goes to the finance minister and the prime minister and every government authority. But I don't have the time or the energy to put that in writing. So I'm asking for an atonement. And this is the final thing I'll say that you can see all the evidence on my website. It's undeniable. I don't know why this is happening to me. I'm not a rapist. I'm not a pedophile. I'm not a dog fucker. I'm not an extortionist. Um, I'm either too mad or not mad enough or too clever or too dumb. The scheme for compensation for detriment caused by the defective administration provides a mechanism for, to compensate people who have experienced detriment as a result of the NCE's defective administration. I urge you to go through the website and listen to me being set up over years because I was paranoid and I recorded my calls. And if you were, if you were seeking damages for detriment, um, contact the relevant NC and ask if you can be considered. Well, I've asked that. I have been considered. And this is the, um, the thing that I'm going to um, present. Um, it's on killing.info. I have all the um, information there. Um, I've, I've, proven, I've proven beyond reasonable doubt all this with evidence. And I wait to um, hear an atonement from the Australian government um, uh, for the crimes systemic that have happened to me over a long period of time, including Michaelia Cash in the AAT, all the ombudsmen's, I'm banned from police, the Attorney General's response, my former partner, I'm a failed whistleblower, Adam Bant, Greg Hunt, Dan Andrews, Mark Dreyfus, Katie Hall, Grant Henier. Um, a, a, a public interest disclosure is something that I wanted and I've been rejected that. Um, I just made a statement here, it's 17th of the 12th. Oh, I did make a statement. I've done a few little different statements over the time, but I'm just systemically and utterly ignored. Um, this is unholy. Uh, I've been rejected from Treasury. Um, it's victory or death, it looks like, at this stage. I'm just waiting for something to happen. Um, the definitions I wanted to go into my on my site are whistleblower, gaslighting, scapegoating, victimization, conspiracy, atonement, desecrate, and framed. Um, I've been framed, and I don't know what to do. Can someone help me? The NDISA are cooked. I was desperate. I begged the NDISA for food and home, and they've rejected 45 of my invoices. The Fair Work Commission rejected me. The NDIA minister condoned my vagrancy. Many agencies I've emailed. AFCA robbed me of $2 million. HCF, Sheena Jack. Hi, Sheena. Um, only 75 grand. APRO, um, or APRO, ASIC, or whatever, accepted my bankruptcy when I shouldn't have had to do it. And ASIC cover up AFSA, but relieved themselves of any responsibility. Victorian Human Rights and Equal Opportunity Commission won't hear one thing I have to say, and the government backed it up. APRO, um, the um, Australian Medical Review Board, they silenced evidence as well as NHP, APC, Victorian Inspectorate, IBAC, Federal Ombudsman. The Geelong Magistrates Courts cooked. The Office of Public Prosecutions framed me. Centrelink put me on the dole after I was dead. Human Services don't care. Business.gov, they condone my business being ruined. And um, Vic Ombudsman, National Ombudsman, AFCA, HTC, WorkSafe, Comcare, AAT. Even the Disability Advocacy and um, VCAT and Disability Law and um, other places. So um, as you can see, I'm um, absolutely and utterly character assassinated and... Um, I'd like some atonement, please. I would like the government to intervene and I request that while you investigate this or it comes to a head, whatever happens, I don't know. I mean, I mean without food, medication or a home, I'm likely to be um, likely to die. Um, and and that, was, that was the point from the start that you wanted to be to die. And I literally did. And then it was covered up. So this is the exact point um, I've just got here on the website um, the crimes and compensation um, conspiracy to pervert the course of justice is a crime victimisation is a crime denial of ability to complain is silencing someone's democratic voice and right and rejecting a valid IP from the ombudsman is pure systemic corruption abusing an already marginalised person is abhorrent especially when they've spent 25 plus years in altruism helping other people 
and rejecting healthcare and food and medication is indicative of a movement to desecrate, destroy and kill me. The signatory to persons with a disability state we must be adequately housed, equality before the law and um, appropriately housed and fed. Just summing up, formal partner separation, half a million, HF income assist, 75 grand, medical malpractice, it's an average of 450 grand, work cover, 95% um, of my wage since January 21, that's a lot. Conspiracy to pervert the course of justice, who knows? Silencing evidence before a court and the cover up of that crime, who knows? Banning me from litigation via conspiracy to blacklist me, who knows? Setting me up to fail that consciously extended my suffering to aid and abet my death, and then the death happened, and then it was covered up, and then it further got kicked down the road. Conspiracy to murder, who gets that? Death in the hospital. Let's put $100 on that one. Abandonment of duty of care. Let's just put 50 grand. Abandoning the human rights charter. Cooked ombudsman's. Discrimination, so many. Victimisation, so many. Corruption of MPs. Um, work cover. Um, VOCAT corruption, my two VOCAT cases. I've got evidence of so many police officers not reporting crime. Victimisation by individuals and many agencies, state and um, federal by people paid as government pawns to toe the party line. Um, I could sue the health service for abandonment of duty of care. I could sue the hospital for misdiagnosis and abandonment of duty of care. Rejection of life-saving medication and abandoning a patient for many people. Suing Saltwater Clinic who rejected me. There's been intimidation tactics. I've been treated with the silent treatment. Micron 21 destroyed my personal liberty and digital identity. Um, exploiting a person's memory loss who has said over a million times I can't think or remember. Like I haven't been to a neuro neurologist. A conspiracy with an intention to kill or desecrate with advanced knowledge of the person is a suicide risk. That's got to be something. Theft and fraud, so much. I could see Micron 21. My computer's been hacked. Items under surveillance. I'm already a paranoid person, but you know, this is just cooks the books. I'm thinking I might be the incarnation of Jesus Christ. Um, I've been planted with um, people and stuff in society and people and set up. I've been set up in many ways, which I know, and I've got some evidence. I've been taken advantage of a marginalised person and then they've tried to kill a maimed person by proxy, silently, who had already survived a lethal attempt. So I've been victim blamed for wanting to die, for being grief stricken and given the drugs to do it. Failure to treat a bleeding bowel, potential cancer, and now I have cancer. That's just to top it off. Failure to provide health care by the government. The NDIA, intentionally not acknowledging invoices now that I'm homeless. Failure to release a person into the community under an ethical framework of the hospital. Um, um, my absolute human rights abuses, rejecting a person from state-sanctioned saltwater clinic, knowing I had no other health care or way to get medication is medical negligence. Corruption of MPs, let's list them all. Blaming the victim when I committed suicide, when you were all gagging for me too. Discriminating against someone who was already systemically desecrated. It doesn't get better than this. It's kind of like a bit of a black comedy. Banning someone from complaining to the Victorian Human Rights Equal Opportunity Commission for a complaint. Um, and the very definition of victimization is if you're gonna make a complaint and you're discriminated against, that's funny. The Australian Human Rights Centre free kicking over a million dollars to the opposition. That's detriment. AFCA holding on to, well, I've lost now, $2 million. Um, and ASIC covering it up. That's detriment, $2 million. Corruption of my colleagues and acquaintances broke my heart. Medical malpractice again and again. Professional negligence. Police, doctors, CEOs of hospitals, politicians. Slander and set up from Mr. Bo Mr. Uh, Dr. Whitaker's lawyer. Corruption at APRA, NHPRC, Police, IVAC, Victorian's Portrait. I, I can't go on. I've had a hard time. Please help me live. I want a simple solution to this. I want atonement. I'd like just a basic way to you work it out and um, or something to happen. Because um, as it stands, I can't literally go on. I'm at great risk. And um, it's um, a responsibility of the government not to aid and abet my death but to help a marginalised and at-risk person get his human rights met. Even if I 
was a um, rapist, pedophile, or dog fucker or anything that I've been framed with, which I'm not, um, and I ran over and killed 10 babies and then ate them, you would still get a person of sentience and give them their basic rights because that's the law. And I don't, I don't know why. It's kind of weird. Anyway, that's my statement. I'm looking for a redress from the CDD scheme. I'd like all the information on killing the info to be acknowledged. I haven't meant to break the law. I think it's okay. Now I'm getting threatened and sued by the government. Anyway, weird. What are they going to do? I've only got a dog, a computer, and an old car. I'm squatting in the shell of a house I can't afford. And this is my final cry for justice. Please help me. Go to killing.info. If you're a member of the public, please share this. I'm the 25-year celebrated author, advocate, and artist, and autobiographer, and acted with altruism for 25 years helping other people. Now I need some help. Please need your help. I please need the government's help. Let's bring this to an end, not in my death, or the violent neglect that will end in my death, but let's be serious about this and, you know, I just, I just want freedom from oppression. I, I'd, I'd like just simplicity. I feel like I'm begging. It's not right that this happened. It's against the law. It's against the signatories that the Australian government has legislated. And that's my statement. Thanks a lot. Please share it and go to Killing Million Info. See for yourself. Thank you.